All right, so looking at designing monthly budgets. When we're looking at this, we've got a few important terms, and I know it says on your sheet that you're working with a partner, but you're not going to be, you're just going to be kind of copying these down as I bring them up. So the first one is net income. Net income is income that you have after your deductions. Your net means how much you make after all the deductions. Okay, your gross income would be your income that it shows up how much you make. Net income is after all your deductions. Now your payroll deductions are employment insurance, Canadian pension plan, income tax, union dues, RSPs, benefits, pension plans, etc. You might have more than that, you might have less depending on where you work. Um, if you need to stop the video at any time, obviously you can to copy this stuff down or you can watch it all the way through and then kind of get the gist of it at the end. All right, so income is just money you can earn. Um, it's money that you get from your job typically. Then we've got expenses, money you spend, savings, money you set aside for the future, and finally balance or your final balance, your total income minus your total expenses. I think that a lot of these, you guys know what they are, but you just need to kind of look and understand a little bit more what the actual terms are, what the terms really mean. Um, I feel like if I were to ask you any of these questions, you guys would know the answers to most of them, but it's one of those things that now we have to kind of look at these in the actual sense of the terms. Balancing is adjusting your budget so that your income equals your expenses or your income is greater than your expenses. We don't want to have our expenses to be more than our income. All right, so with a partner, you don't have to do it with a partner, you can do it by yourself. You're gonna discuss the following questions. So what is a budget? Why are budgets useful? What does it mean if you have a negative balance? What value should you have after balancing? Why might you choose to record fixed and variable or expenses separately? Weekly and bi-weekly amounts should be converted to annual costs before they are converted to monthly costs, and why? We're gonna actually look at that in a second when we look at the next part. So here's an example of a balancing sheet. Now on this balancing sheet, I've actually filled in a bunch of the stuff for you. But this is kind of a typical balancing sheet. Now a lot of you, if you're going away next year, you're not living at home, um, balancing sheets are great ways to keep track of what you're doing, how you're doing in school, um, money-wise, or if you're doing anything else, really. So we're going to look at a situation, and this is on the next page. We've got this girl, and her net income is 29550 now we need to find a monthly income, okay? We can't just write down 29,550 because that's way more than she makes per month. That's her annual income. So what we need to do is take that number, divide it by 12, we get 24,6250. That's just gonna go right into our chart at the top. And that's our total income. If you were to have other things, like let's say you have your salary and then you did babysitting or something else on the side, you could put that in here too and that would just add on to your salary and that would be another income. But in this case, our babysitting is zero because we didn't babysit this month. So zero plus 246250 is still 246250. Next, if we look at her monthly rent is 650, which includes heat and water, and her electric bill is $50. Okay. So we've got this done. We're now at $650 and $50. So we go back, we look at our expenses. We're looking at housing here, so $650 for housing, $50 for electricity, and we add those together to get another subtotal. These subtotals, sorry, they're gonna keep vanishing, are very important. We need to keep track of those so at the end we've got one big list of, or I guess this should be a different color, this one can be green over top. This is, the green is how much we've made, that's positive money, and the blue is how much we're losing. 
Okay, so that's negative money. The next thing we're going to look at is lease and insurance and gas, groceries, and then kind of other expenses. I'm going to put them all up at once so we can add them all together. Okay, so looking at the sheet, um, when we're looking at our car lease, we've got 350 which is monthly, so that's good. We've got gas monthly, so that one's good. Now, this one's a little bit different. It's got weekly expenses. So we need to change our weekly expenses into yearly first and then divide it by monthly. Okay, we can't just times it by four. That goes back to the accelerated weekly payments argument. Okay, so we need to times our 120 by 52 and then divide it by 12. So we're going to get 520. So that's a, another monthly bill that we're looking at. Then we've got... So we've got our 520, then we've got $200, and it's again a month, $30 a month, and then we've got about four grand each year. So we're gonna have to change that into monthly as well. So dividing it by 12, we get our monthly bill. All right, so going back to our chart, fill in everything for the chart. And we are gonna get Lease and gas for our car is 470. Groceries, remember, was 520. Other, we've got 230 and 333.33. Adds up to 563.33. We need to add up all of our expenses. You're only adding up your subtotals. You're not adding up all the expenses again. That's why we do subtotals. Okay, so we've got all of these subtotals that we're adding together. That is going to give me 22.5333. Now I'm going to take this number, I'll put it in red, I guess. We're going to minus that away from our total income that we have at the top. So green minus red, and the screen turns off for a second, and then it comes back. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but my screen went all fuzzy. So we'll keep going. It is 209.17. All right, so that's looking at all of those different things. That's going to be my balancing sheet for this situation. Okay, after that, you're going to work on the sheet that's provided. So I want you to answer those questions. You can do it by yourself or with a partner. And then work on the worksheet, which is just some textbook questions that I have photocopied for you. If you have any questions, I will be back tomorrow.